Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. I'm Average Joe, and today marks the beginning of Jenny Week here on the channel. So if you didn't catch my vlog from yesterday, I basically talked about how this upcoming week is going to be a theme week here on the channel. And the theme for this week is me reviewing beers from the Genesee Brewing Company out of Rochester, New York. And I thought we would start with their most iconic, classic uh, beer. This is a staple in Western New York and pretty much New York State in general. And it is none other than the Genesee Cream Ale, a.k.a. Jenny Cream Ale. So yeah, I have a rich and storied history with this beer. Okay, maybe not. But I've had this beer a lot in the past. So full disclosure, you know, it's a beer that I've had before. I'm reviewing it because it's Jenny Week and it needs to be reviewed. And honestly, um, I wanted to give it a proper review. So anyway, this is a cream ale, clearly, that comes in at either 5.1% or 5.2% alcohol by volume. And the reason why I don't actually know what it is, uh, or the exact ABV, is because you know what? There's conflicting information on the good old interwebs. The website, maybe I didn't look hard enough, doesn't list an ABV. I believe Wikipedia and Untappd say 5.2% and then Beer Advocate and Rapier say 5.1%. Here's the thing. It's a 0.1 difference and I really don't care. So yeah, anyway, this is, this is just a classic, man. This is my go-to macro. Not that I drink macros a lot. You know, I might drink this beer maybe a handful of times per year. But when I do drink it, I always enjoy it. And if I go somewhere that doesn't have a macro that I really want to drink and I see this, I'm picking this up every time. And yeah, so this is the first time I've actually purchased it in uh, tall boy cans here, 16 ounce cans. Um, usually have them in the regular 12 ounce cans. And I just thought it'd be kind of different because, you know, why not? So anyway, let's crack this open and give it a pour. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if you guys have had Jenny Cream Ale, you know what, you're, you know what I'm in for, but... You also know what to expect and I do too so we'll give this a nice pour here and uh, see what we got I'm spilling it everywhere because I'm an idiot look how terrible I am oh my god there's beer everywhere how will we ever survive so uh, minus you know maybe like a I don't know a couple milliliters here on the table it pours out like your quintessential cream ale macro beer honestly uh, it's golden bright yeah it has like a straw a straw color to it straw golden color Basically bright white head, about two fingers. Has some beer on the side of it because I pour it like an idiot. And yeah, I mean, decent carbonation. Nothing too crazy, but it plays the role of a cream ale uh, because that's what it is. Anyway, let's get a nose on it. Yeah, I mean, it has those quintessential macro uh, aromas to it. There is a hint of like a corny or corn grit going on. Maybe even like a soft lemon tone to it. It has a bigger malt base. There is like a bready, almost crackery tone to it. Like they're using you know, Pilsner malt or something. Yeah, but for the most part, it's a cream ale. It's Jenny cream ale. I mean, this is, this is what it smells like every time. They're very consistent. They've been brewing this, I think, since 1960. So, you know, you have almost 60 years uh, to dial this in and have people enjoy it and uh, you know what it smells like it does every single time I, I have it but yeah there's not much going on I mean I honestly would be being <clears throat> on basically not honest with you guys if I told you uh, that I was getting all kinds of crazy characters in here it's a very simple beer made for very simple purposes drinking and there's not a whole lot going on because there's not meant to be and I'm gonna drink it because I want to drink it. I'm really thirsty right now. So cheers, everyone. Let's see what Jenny Cream Ale has to offer. Yep. Crisp, clean, very clean, super refreshing. That that slight like lemon character I'm getting, or was getting the aroma, a little bit bigger in the taste this time, actually. Um, I don't know if but my palate's been... Um, properly um, cleansed, so to speak. Um, so I don't think there's anything different going on with my palate, but there's just little lemony characters, little like zippy uh, citrus character. But for the most part, it's all about the malts in this. It's bready, slightly crackery, has a little bit of corniness going on. But I think the one thing that I enjoy with this, uh, you know, it's a cream ale and it's not an adjunct lager, although they're pro they are using adjuncts in this, I'm pretty sure. Um, it doesn't have an overwhelming corn character to it. It has some of that, 
but it's dialed back maybe like 50% uh, if you compare it to a lot of other adjunct loggers. And that's why I think I like it so much. It's very clean. It's not overly sweet. It's meant to be a hugely drinkable beer, and that's what it is. I mean, you know, I think uh, I think I paid like four forty nine for a six pack of the Tall Boys. You can get you know twelve packs of the twelve ounces for what six fifty seven bucks. It's it's a cheap beer, and I this is a good beer too um, for for craft beer drinkers. I think more craft beer drinkers would enjoy this than an American adjunct lager. I could be wrong. It's just infinitely. I mean, look at that lace and bros. And burlettes. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but look at that. Look at that lacing. Uh, you know, it's so awesome. Not really doesn't matter, but uh, it's it's going. I want to I want to just drink all of this right now. But yeah, I mean, I could get into specifics here. Body, mouth, feel, blah blah blah. It's appropriate for the style. It has a lighter body. It has, like I said, a really crisp and clean finish to it. Um, it's slightly dry, not overly sweet. A little bit of lemon character, some bready crackery, malts, a little bit of corn, but just infinitely drinkable. And that's what I like about this beer. There's really, there's absolutely no faults uh, to the beer at all for me. And that's what makes it my go-to macro. So uh, Jenny Cream Ale. Rating wise, this is where I'm going to say ignore me, okay? Because I rate to overall enjoyment in comparison to like all the other beers that I drink. So giving this like a 4.5 out of 5 is just, I'm not going to do that because it's not a 4.5 out of 5 beer for enjoyment level. For me, this falls in like the 3.25 out of 5 range, bordering on 3.5 out of 5. Uh, it depends on my mood. Today, I'm going to say 3.25 out of 5. If I was rating this to the cream ale style, 4.5, 4.75, hell, even 5 out of 5, this is a great cream ale. Um, the reason why I enjoy this more than like... Uh, micro or, or craft cream ales is because they've been doing it right for a long time and a lot of the cream ales that you get from craft breweries usually over hopped or they just don't work as well so take my rating very carbonated i forgot to mention that very carbonated a lot of bourbon going on but take my rating with a grain of salt like hopefully you do every other uh video that i <laughs> every other beer i review and every other video that i make because you know it's my rating to my palate to my scale uh, but just let let it be known that I do like this beer quite a bit, and it is my go-to macro, and I will buy it again, and I do dig it. So 3.25 out of 5 for me on the enjoyment level or enjoyment factor or enjoyment scale or whatever. If I was ready to style, probably like a 4.75 out of 5. It's it's just that, that damn good for the style. But anyway, uh, yeah, that does it for the first beer here of the week, Jenny, uh, Jenny uh, theme week or whatever you want to call it. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to have the honey orange cream ale. So that'll be an interesting uh, review to see how it compares to this, but I'm quite excited. So hopefully you'll join me tomorrow for the whole, uh, honey orange uh, cream ale. And I uh, appreciate you guys stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. If you guys want to like, comment, and subscribe, that's cool. A lot of people are talking about the bell thing. Like, you know, hit that bell, get updated. I guess do that. Like I... I've done it a couple times, but I don't know. Sometimes notifications get kind of crazy. So do that if you want. If not, no big deal. Uh, but throw some comments. Have you guys had this beer before? Have you had anything from Genesee? Do you get this in your area? I don't know what their distribution is, um, but I'm pretty sure northeast into the Midwest, into the south. I don't know if out west they get this beer, but I'd be curious to see uh, you know, some of my subs out there, if you guys get this beer, if you had it before, and uh, just kind of figure out what their distribution range is. So anyway, until next time, cheers.